Hello, my name is Jessica Lin. I am a thoracic oncologist at Massachusetts General Hospital Cancer Center and an instructor in medicine at Harvard Medical School. Today, my talk was focused on therapeutically targeting red fusions in advanced non-small cell lung cancer. Our diagnostic and treatment approach to advanced non-small cell lung cancer is becoming increasingly molecularly subclassified highly informed by the presence of specific driver gene alterations in the tumor. Well-known examples include the treatment of EGFR mutant non-small cell lung cancer with an EGFR inhibitor such as osimertinib, an ALK fusion positive lung cancer with an ALK tyrosine kinase inhibitor such as alectinib. Red fusions were first described in non-small cell lung cancer back in over eight years ago and since then, they have been identified in approximately 1% to 2% of patients with non-small cell lung cancer. These patients tend to have never smoked before or have minimal prior smoking history, and they tend to have adenocarcinoma histology. A number of distinct red fusion partners and variants have been identified in lung cancer. And in clinic, these can be detected using a number of different methodologies, including fluorescence in situ hybridization, next generation sequencing, or RT-PCR. Now, until recently, our ability to treat red fusion positive lung cancer patients using targeted therapeutic agents was limited. So we had multi-kinase inhibitors with red activity, such as cabozantinib or vandetinib, that were repurposed and explored in patients with red fusion positive lung cancer. And there, the efficacy was suboptimal, and these multi-kinase inhibitors were associated with significant toxicities, resulting in frequent dose interruptions or drug discontinuations. In the past couple of years, we have been excited to see the entrance of two novel, highly potent, and red selective tyrosine kinase inhibitors in clinic. These are pralcetinib, previously called Blue 667, and selpercotinib, previously called Loxo 292. Both drugs have shown encouraging efficacy in patients with red fusion positive lung cancer, with response rates ranging 60 to 68% in those patients who received prior platinum chemotherapy. These drugs have also been overall well tolerated with a favorable toxicity profile compared to multi-kinase inhibitors. Both agents have received FDA breakthrough ther therapy designation in lung cancer patients who received prior platinum-based chemo. Going forward, one of the major challenges will be defining mechanisms of resistance to these red selective inhibitors, which will ultimately inform the development of next-generation red inhibitors with the hope of improving outcomes for patients with red fusion positive lung cancer. Thank you.